This rally goes on every year on May Day. We've just been hearing about London, about global rallies in support of workers' rights. And, and the French are very vociferous in their public uh, discussions about workers' rights and, of course, uh, have a long history of organising big protests like this in, in their cities. But this year it is different because a lot of the focus on this is on one topic, and that is on the pension reform that President Macron uh, has driven through, which will raise the retirement age from 62 uh, to 64. And that has brought people out uh, on the streets in a series of protests, which is, this is the latest of them. Uh, now, there's going to be a big one here in Paris, 80, 100,000 people on the streets, but there are uh, some reckoning hundreds, maybe 300 separate protests going on in France today, big ones in, in cities like Bordeaux uh, and, and Nantes uh, and around Lyon, uh, the list goes on and, and on. And it is a reflection of huge, growing public discontent at two things. One is that simple move to, uh, to raise the retirement age in a country where workers' rights are so central to the discourse. Uh, that, that has gone down very, very badly. I think for much of Europe, frankly, in the United Kingdom, the idea of slowly moving the retirement age up to 64 probably seems not unreasonable. President Macron says that it is economically not viable to maintain a low uh, retirement age. And yet here you ask these people, they think, well, look at that, 64 reasons of fury. Uh, there is a feeling that this is, just, is, is unfair and has broken that trust between the people and their leader. And that it takes us to the second reason they are so angry, is that President Macron knew about this opposition. He knew that in Parliament there was widespread opposition to this. And he simply used a mechanism called 49.3 to drive this through, effectively in the eyes of many people subverting democracy. So another poster you might be having to there says, don't talk to me, don't call it democracy anymore, call it macronism. Uh, and, and that, I think, those two things have really inflamed anger here, have led to this series of protests of which this is the latest one. Now, the police have said that they expect maybe 1,000 to 2,000 people to join this who are, frankly, out to cause trouble. We have seen that before, so-called bloc noir people who come along and demonstrations like this one and then separately uh, cause fights, cause, cause trouble, and try to incite violence. Police being very clear in their statements, they want to protect the right of people to protest. And they say, but they will deal uh, harshly with uh, with anybody who causes trouble. We're going to start in about an hour and a quarter from here, march through the middle of Paris, and we will be joining them on the journey.